provides certainty. So I think the key way to do this is to try, particularly within the Senate, to get 60 votes on something that would provide certainty. And uh, we're working on that. There's a lot of legislation out there. And again, we would welcome, welcome your ideas. I've had a number of discussions with a lot of you on this issue. Um, but I think that is going to have to need uh, legislation versus the back and forth of what you're seeing right now with different federal administrations having different views, and then, this, then it brings a lot of uncertainty. Coghill, and then uh, last question, Senator Bishop after that. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, uh, Senator, for your service. Uh, you and your family have uh, uh, served us well, both in the military and here in the uh, U.S. Senate. So you got my deepest gratitude. Uh, also, your staff has been very accessible and has worked with us on many issues uh, dealing with uh, federal state issues. We're grateful for that. But in the interior, uh, one of the things we're very, very grateful for is uh, you've worked with us uh, in our military uh, world. The F-35s is a, is a big success for us, and thank you for working us, uh, with us on that. And for the families that uh, have uh, had the benefit of your advocacy uh, in uh, their uh, benefit issues, so thank you for that. But you were just, uh, uh, we are a geographic state, as you said. Uh, we get this wonderful geography that is at the top of the world. We get to look at what the rest of the top of the world is doing. Yeah. And uh, we have eyes and ears, but also we have missiles. And uh, you went to Asia just recently. Uh, you're out there snooping around. It'd be kind of interesting to hear what you see. Uh, you went to Greeley. You got to see what's going on uh, both in the construction and the readiness. And our own uh, state military, uh, our guard, uh, you get to pat them on the back. We're grateful for that. Um, it's a, it's a big deal that we get to be a responsible party for the rest of America. It would be good for you to tell us uh, where we sit uh, uh, in that, both from your perspective on the military committee, but with the rest of Congress, and then from your perspective of uh, Asia. Uh, it would be nice to hear uh, your perspective on that. Great. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. And really appreciate that. And look, and this is another area where obviously we have really strong bipartisan support in the Congress, but here, of course, supporting our military and what we're doing. Um, you know, I never tire of talking about it and talking to my colleagues about it. You mentioned uh, Senator Coghill. I, I, I just got back from a CODEL uh, that was led by Senator uh, Jim Inhofe. So he's right now, as I mentioned, Senator McCain is really struggling with cancer, which we're all, you know, all praying for him. So right now, Senator Inhofe is the chairman of the Armed Services Committee. and. Uh, he, Senator Ernst from Iowa, Senator yeah. Rounds from uh, South Dakota, uh, Congressman from Mississippi, we are on a code out to Asia, Korea, Japan, Taiwan. And then, you know, I said, look, as part of that uh, code out, we need to end up here. You guys need to see us, right? We're the Asia Pacific. And so we're, we're here the last day and a half. And um, it's pretty interesting, right? We left from Tokyo. And, uh, you know, we got here in almost uh, six hours, and I think that that surprised them. Like, wow, you really are part of the Asia Pacific. And I think sometimes it's really important to get people on the ground here. And as you mentioned, uh, we went to Fort Greeley yesterday. And uh, look, right now, in terms of what's going on with North Korea, there's a lot of threats, particularly with uh, the dictator there who's, you know, He's going to likely have the capacity to hit not only Alaska, but the lower 48 with an intercontinental ballistic nuclear missile. It should be concerning to everybody. But what we've done is we have worked, and I mentioned it, I had a bill last year that m massively built up our missile defense. And um, we're the cornerstone of that missile defense. And the good news is, um, and we worked hard on this, we tried really hard to make that a bipartisan bill. Um, missile defense, for whatever reason, I won't go into the history, has usually been a partisan issue, starting with Reagan, Star Wars, and all that. It's been kind of Republicans for it, Democrats against it. The big kind of breakthrough, I thought, was my bill had very strong bipartisan support, uh, Democrats and Republicans. And uh, we got to pass as part of the broader defense authorization bill and fund it, fully fund it. So um, it's a new field at Fort Greeley, 
Um, but we are the cornerstone of the country's missile defense. I mean, that field protects not just Alaska, that field protects Miami, New York, Chicago, LA, pretty much everybody. And what's really, really amazing, and I you know, take a lot of pride in it, all of you do, I know too, that's run by an Alaska National Guard unit, the 49th Missile Defense Battalion. That literally 24-7, you go down there Christmas Day, you got people working it. Uh, they're doing it, they have this great motto, kind of modern day Spartans, the 300 protecting the 300 million, which I kind of love. Um, but we went there yesterday and had the full tour, and um, it's very impressive. But to have the chairman, the acting chairman of the Armed Services Committee and some of my colleagues uh, on the Armed Services Committee come here and go, whoa, whoa, look what Alaska does for us. It is, it's an important part of my job, but I want to thank all of you because I know everybody here is supportive of that. Look, we have, we have very significant challenges uh, from an international perspective. The rise of China is uh, concerning a lot of people, but we had lead, meet, le meetings with the leadership in these countries over the last four or five days, and, um, <coughs> you know, they're relying on us. They're relying on us. And uh, I would say our alliances are strong in, the, in those regions. They're really strong, actually. But what we bring to the defense of our nation, whether it's, as you mentioned, the missile defense, whether it's, I, I talk about the hub of air combat power. I don't want to get too, like, weedy here, but, you know, with the F-35s coming to Eielson, Alaska is going to have, with our F-22s and F-35s, those are called fifth-generation fighters. What is that? They're supersonic and they're stealth. We're going to have over 100 in our state. There's no place on the planet Earth that has anything close to that. So we were, you know, showing that to our colleagues. But that's going to be more and more important for the defense of the nation. And it's all right here. And that's why I've listed it as one of the things that is a vision, because we take pride in it. I don't think it's a partisan issue. But let's face it, it's also, it's also good for our economy. You know, $1 billion of military construction. Last Christmas, I had a meeting with the head of the Corps of Engineers, and they want to make sure, and we were pressing them on it, that the vast, vast, vast majority of that military construction goes to, goes to our people, our workers, our companies, our unions, our contractors. And I said, look, this isn't some kind of giveaway to Alaska. This is good use of the taxpayer money, because when you're building a new missile field at Fort Greeley and it's 40 below zero, and you bring up a company from Georgia, they have no idea what they're doing. <laughs> but we do, all right? Our people do. So it's, uh, we're making a lot of progress on it. I appreciate the question. And in, in, it's all over the state, but in the interior in particular, it's uh, really important. So thank you for all the great support you're giving to our, our troops, because they're doing a great job. Last question, uh, Senator Bishop. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Senator Sullivan. In your uh, recent trip to Asia, did you have any energy discussions with any of the? Uh, yes. And could you expound on that if you're at, if you're at liberty, sure. you can. And the lastly, <clears throat> thank you for 1002 and the whole delegation. But we've we've all worked over 40 years to get yep. in there. Any yep. suggestions on how to take advantage of this opportunity? Well, thanks, Click. And um, no, and in, in, uh, most of the meetings were uh, focused on national security issues, but I believe in Asia, but I believe the national security issues are very interlinked to the energy security issues. And right now, um, you know, Secretary Zinke, the Secretary of Interior, likes to talk about this new role for America, not only American energy independence, but American energy dominance. And he, this is our Secretary of Interior, talks about how, how but that has to go through Alaska. We have to be a key part of that. That's why I think there's so much opportunity. So I raised this pretty much in almost every meeting. And we met with you know, presidents and foreign ministers and defense ministers about the security of their country in deepening energy security between America and their country is a key part of that. I talked about Alaska natural gas, of course. And I talked about, look, America is now once again becoming the world's energy superpower. We're the largest producer of natural gas in the world, bigger than Russia. 
We're on the verge of becoming the largest producer of oil in the world, bigger than Saudi Arabia. We're now able to export that to our allies. We're the largest producer of renewables in the world. Harder to export, but you can get technology and stuff for wind turbines to some of these. And natural gas, of course, is, uh, you know, very much helps with regard to greenhouse gas emissions and lowering those. So we had discussions on that in pretty much every area. They're excited, but, you know, some of these places are, uh, we have work to do here, um, but I think they see it beyond just economics and uh, energy security, but actually national security. I mean, more being closer aligned with us, America, Alaska, on energy helps these countries. There's no doubt about it. And so, again, I think we have this moment of opportunity to seize this because the feds right now are pushing it. I mean, you have this administration and the federal government pushing it in China and uh, in these other countries. So, yes, we had good discussions on that. Uh, second, look with regard to, to the 1002 area in Anwar. Like I said, this is, this is a team effort, right? 40-year team effort. And uh, we were, and, you know, you guys passed that legislation, that resolution last year. That helps us, really helps us to be able to say, hey, back in my state, this is a bipartisan issue, right? Um, by the way, the votes were bipartisan. You don't read about that in the press much. I mentioned Senator Manchin. Um, but uh, I think there's enormous opportunities, but we got to get on it. I mean, guess who's in charge of implementing that legislation right now? Joe, Joe Baelish. Okay, I mean, we have this moment. We got to grab it. And so I think I saw the governor had proposed uh, some... Uh, you know, legislation on the seismic issue. You know, I don't want to jump into your business here, but I think those kind of things, showing that we're open. You know, there's some of the press, which is, trust me, the national press on this is just universally hostile to this issue because they don't get it. They don't understand it. Um, now they're starting to write, oh, no energy company's interested. That's not true. It's not true. But um, they're interested. They don't tell everybody, right? You guys know how these people operate, but um, we need to encourage that, and I think if the legislature can do things to encourage, seize in that moment, opportunity right now on something that we've been working on for over 40 years on a bipartisan manner, it's uh, something we should be seizing, so thanks. And th again, and thanks again to all of you guys on that issue. This was the huge work of thousands, bipartisan. It was very special, and you guys did it, so it was great. Thank you, Senator Sullivan. Thank you.